Now my old head gardener, he told me many, many years ago that he liked his irises like he liked his women. And I remember worrying about this. I said to him, what, what, you mean bearded? He said, no, you daft little fucker. Not bearded, big, blousy and voluptuous. Anyway, over the years, I quite got to like irises myself. But I don't know about the voluptuousness of them. But take this one here. Now this is a, a big French variety called Haute Le Voile. I ain't got a clue what that means, but it's a big one. It's big. The blooms are about, oh, I don't know, nine inches across, 10, 12 inches down. Big, blue, and cream. Handsome thing. But if you can see down here, the actual clump itself, it's just tired. Now it's been a bad year because we've had very little sun. But if you look at this, I need to regenerate this. And the time we do it is midsummer. And I'm going to show you how to do it because all irises benefit from rejuvenation. You can see here, these are the rhizomes. Now these have to stay on top of the soil. There's young roots underneath. What we're going to do is give them a little wash first. I'm just breaking them off. That's an old rhizome. That's buggered. You don't want that. There's some more here. I'm just breaking the nice young fresh growth away. This is a good example. You see how the old rhizome is tired, rotten. You can see just here the adventitious shoots of the young growth. Those are the things we want. Now most people think they'll do their plants in the spring or in the autumn, but midsummer is the best time for these boys. Lovely things. Right. Grab, grab those and get down the stream. Come with me. I've never understood if he likes big and voluptuous women why he had such a mousy little wife. But he did. I suppose that's why he used to give the butcher's wife one every Tuesday afternoon. This is a lovely plant. This is a Regersia. This is Elegans Superba. I have this at the end of the stream because it just seems to fit. Difficult to get them through there, aren't you? Yeah, you look like you're shitting around there. Now, all I'm doing here is giving these a wash. Then Take your iris, you can see the roots are nice and clean now. What we're going to do is cut the fans back. You got that? Try not to fall ass over it in your string. Same here. And we'll do that with all of them. You can see these lovely young roots here. Come across because I don't want the cameraman coming across the stream because you the ass over it, innit? Pot 
compost. Get your roots in there. Quite simple. Bed it down. You need to use those few roots, if you can, as an anchor. And leave a little bit of the rhizome exposed. Now, that may look loose, but we'll water that in and that has solid up beautifully. Needing initial watering. Now, unlike with hostas, you would put this plant somewhere nice and sunny. Now, I would use an open shelter or just uh, the edge of a wall. But you must remember to water them. It doesn't matter if they dry out a little bit. Um, it won't do them any harm on the dry cycle, but somewhere reasonably sunny. I'll just go through it again once more for you. Tucker, you can't eat that. Again. Now, you see this one has got some reasonable roots. Use them as an anchor them into the soil and try and lay the rhizome on the surface. Some of these divisions don't have very large rhizomes. They will produce one, don't worry. They always feel a bit lopsided, Iris. Again, it would be better doing it on a potting bench, but for the purposes of this film, we're just doing it in situ. You probably won't have the trouble of a few dogs. Again, water that in and away you go. No problem. All right. So that one, isn't it? Come on, dogs. Not my bloody flowers over.